is Vlogmas Day 23, the penultimate day of Vlogmas. I cannot believe that we've made it to 23, almost 24 days. I'm so proud of that. I've really enjoyed myself. Today I thought I would go through some of the bookish mail, well, mostly Christmas bookish mail that I've got over the last few days. Um, and then f end it with opening my secret Santa book from the independent bookshop, Bert's Books, off Twitter. I saw a post of theirs on Twitter that said you could give 10 or £20 to them and suggest a book that you'd like to be sent to somebody else. So £10 was for a paperback, £20 was for a hardback. And so your book would be sent to somebody who'd also took part in the secret Santa and they would send a random book to you. So it's kind of weird because I've just finished reading this book, The Six Tales of Christmas by Anne-Marie Ryan for the Book Taster, Book Box, Book Q&A, Book Club. And it was, this book isn't what it looks like from the cover. It looks like a cosy Christmas read, possibly a romance. This deals with some hard hitting themes. You're looking at depression, grief, loss, unemployment, but it's got a nice balance of upbeat and deal, dealing with these serious themes. But in this book, um, Nora and Simon work in a bookshop and they're reaching hard times. And that's, you know, bookshops in general struggle because they're up against the giants like Amazon and things like that. But especially now in coronavirus, I'm really worried about bookshops anywhere, even more. But they decide to send out six books as a random act of kindness to and um, people in the community who have been nominated for various reasons. And it's weird now getting this book from Bert's Books when I've just finished this book. Because I kind of feel like I'm in the story because I'm getting a random book now and I'm dead excited about it. And it just feels lovely and special and Christmassy. So if Bert's Books do this again next year, I don't know if they've done it just this year because of the situation we've all been in. But I would imagine every year would be a good time to do that as an independent bookshop. I will be doing it every year because I've really enjoyed it. So, uh, yeah, I just thought I'd mention that because I've just finished reading that and I've got that book. Um, I got a surprise part. Well, I say surprise. I wasn't expecting it through the post. Um, Rameza, a fairy tale by Radia Hafiza. Or Hafiza. It's an uncorrected Macmillan proof copy. A little while ago on Twitter, Macmillan put up about this book and said that if people wanted to review it to kind of get in touch and I did and then never thought anything about it and didn't hear anything back and then it just arrived in the post and I, th I think it was a couple of months ago that I, I put my hat in the ring as it were anyway I got uh, you know all the information about it today and it says um that basically it's set in a faraway land long ago and it's an ode to some of the fair, favourite fairy tales that this girl read growing up or woman read growing up and it's spinning old tales anew. She said, although she always enjoyed reading from a young age, she never imagined someone like her could feature in such stories. But what would it be like if Rapunzel wore a hijab or if Cinderella went to a ball where they served samosas if Sleeping Beauty wasn't thin and drilled in her sleep? It says featuring the three different stories Rameza, Cinderella and Sleeping Sarah. This book is about friendship, being fearless and finding your voice. So it's basically um, Rapunzel, Cinderella and Sleeping Beauty, but told from this other perspective. Um, so I'm so excited to read it. And yeah, I'll see how it is. It's it's published in the on the first of April two thousand and twenty one, so I can definitely get this read before then and look how thin it is. Um, so I'm so excited. Oh, and there's put some pictures in it as well. So I can't wait for that. That sounds right up my street. So there was that one. So that was a lovely surprise because I wasn't expecting it. Um, I treated myself to a little book before Christmas. The January middle grade monthly book is Keeper of the Lost Cities by Shannon Messenger. And I really want to take part in it because I did all 12 books last year, uh, this year and loved it. 
It says 12 year old Sophie Foster has a secret. Sophie is a telepath and can hear the thoughts of everyone around her, something that she's never spoken about even to her own family. But everything changes the day she meets Fitz, a mysterious boy who also reads minds. She discovers there's somewhere she does belong and staying where she is will put her in grave danger. In the blink of an eye, Sophie is forced to leave everything behind and start a new life in a magical world. But not everyone is thrilled with her homecoming. There are secrets buried deep in Sophie's memory, secrets that other people desperately want, secrets they might even kill for. And then it says, look out for more Keeper's Adventures. So there's at least three more. I love that the little girl and it's called Sophie because I've got a little girl called Sophie. I didn't actually know much about it, well, anything really about it um, while I was ordering it. But I thought I've not been disappointed too disappointed so far with the middle grade monthly books like I said in my vlogmas video where I rated them all um yeah there was one that got two stars but I really liked elements of that book even so there was nothing that I did dnf'd and nothing that I give one star to and um, there was one that was a two star there was well multiple three stars multiple four stars and then I think two five stars so yeah i was really chuffed with that and thought i'm definitely carrying on into the new year so there's the next one to read so that was my little treat to myself and then today i got a surprise present i got two amazon parcels and i was only expecting the keeper of the lost city so i was like i haven't ordered anything else and i was checking and checking i thought no um and then i opened this one and it's one that i think i put on my wish list recently as well and um, one by one by Ruth Ware I saw it mentioned on somebody else's channel and I can't remember who Um, so yeah I don't know a lot about it but I remember hearing them talk about it and thinking yeah I like the sound of that I've heard a lot about Ruth Ware recently and inside it says happy Christmas Helen spotted this on your wish list and I really want to read this too hope you enjoy it from Sam at Griff Reed so thank you so much Sam I really you really didn't have to and I'm delighted and if you do really want to read it and I hope you've got a copy if that if you really want to read it maybe we can buddy read it together I would love that so it says a luxury chalet an opportunity of a lifetime until guests start to disappear um the compulsive atmospheric new thriller from the queen of the modern day murder mystery i love a murder mystery in in my top um books of this year were the hunting party and the guest list by lucy foley um the same with um a good girl's guide to murder and good girl bad blood i do like a murder mystery um so yeah the fact that this is probably going to be along a similar vein um really exciting and it was so lovely to receive that in the poll so how lovely to receive a christmas present from somebody who watches my channel and a fellow booktuber so sam i can't even tell you how much this means so thank you so much um yeah so that was delighting and then as well as that my secret santa from bert's books arrived i haven't opened it it's come wrapped in this gorgeous green paper with gold. Green is my favourite colour. So Christmassy with a red bow. So let's have a look. Oh, that won't be able to get into it. Oh, I'm going to get into it now. So I'm intrigued. Um, I will say now, the book that I picked to send was the paperback of The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. So if you also took part in this and got that, then maybe that was one of the ones off me. Um, this could well be one that I've read before. Who knows? Um, oh, no. Silent Nights Christmas Mysteries, edited by Martin Edwards, British Library Climb Classics. Christmas is as mysterious as well, is a mysterious as well as magical time of year. Strange things can happen, and this helps to explain the hallowed tradition of telling ghost stories around the fireside as the year draws to a close. Christmas tales of crime and detection have a similar appeal. When television becomes tiresome and party games pall, the prospect of curling up in the warmth with a good mystery is enticing and a much better for the digestion than yet another helping of plum pudding. So it looks like. This book introduces readers to some of the finest Christmas detective stories of the past. Ooh, not something that I would have picked up for myself, but I did look the other day at um, a book of short stories and think I should do that at some point. So Christmassy murder mystery type ones. Um, yeah, I, I'm happy with that. Um, like I said, not something I would pick up. 
but definitely something I'm willing to give a go. I wonder if I shouldn't really try and fit it in in December because I've still got, I reckon I can get through nine books between for the whole of December now and um, with the days that I've got remaining. I've read about six, so I think I can fit, have I read six? So I think I can fit another three or four in. So I shouldn't really include this in because I've got, well, it means I'm, I'm not going to fulfil my TBR again. I don't think I've done a complete one yet. But I can't, I don't really want to start reading this in January when it's Christmassy book stories. But we'll see. So how exciting. So I'm delighted with that as well. So there you go. I just thought I would share those with you. Really can recommend this. I loved it so much. I think I'm going to give it four stars. Um, so yeah. Give it a go if you like books that are set in bookshops, like something that's not too sickly sweet. Um, yeah, just lovely. So there you go. I hope this was okay. Just a quick video for you. And I will see you tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 24.